Okay, this time I'll be teaching you about super sweaty techniques that you can use on your freaking friends. If you want to use it in real matches, then you're probably going to get called to sweaty by the people you kill. Um, first is a fake edit. You want to fake edit your floor so that the red do shoot at you. And then you want to side... And then you want to side jump. Now the w the the reason why you don't want to edit your pyramid is that's just a chance for you to get shot, and you don't want that to happen. So just edit the floor and then side jump. Another technique is the uh, freaking flashy one, where you basically just edit your stair and then tunnel out. Next one is going to be the uh, reverse 90s. There's a lot of different ways you can do reverse 90s. Basically that way. Hold up. Let me do, do it much better. And then like that. Would be a good way. And then there's also this way that I usually do. Like that. Uh, let me do it more slowly so you understand. Um, this way, you tunnel, place pyramids, go to the back, place two walls, place that stair, edit the pyramid. A pyramid doesn't go easily place here, but if you do have a pyramid there, just edit it. And there you go. Uh, and then the other way, you tunnel first. Uh, you place a pyramid on the back, edit the pyramid, Place one behind you, place that, jump, place a stair, 90, and then we'll be flashy, edit that. Those are two other advanced techniques. Um, another one you should learn, double ramp, double floor, double wall. Um, you want to place those two stairs, and then spam build, turbo build your floor and your wall. Yours might have a stair like this when you do it. That's perfectly fine. It happens to people. Uh, next one is the triple wall technique. So you go up and then you place that third wall and then edit it. Now the reason why this is pretty a pretty good technique is let's say your opponent 90s Right. Once you place that triple wall, uh, kind of made it too much layered. Hold up. You have complete control over this wall right here. You could simply edit it once they place that stair that they're supposed to place. Oh my god, I'm really bad. Um. What is wrong with me? Uh, once they place that stair, simply edit that floor, place a pyramid, and go on with their freaking life. Uh, I guess this would be a good start if you're like really close together. Let's say like this. And then they're going up, and then they do two 90s. Right. I'm really laggy, I don't know why. Oh, I'm not gonna make that excuse, never mind. Um Once they go up, you can obviously when they're going up, place a pyramid above them. They're completely trapped, they don't know what to do, and they're left with a full fledged panic. That's really good for starting a one v one, I guess I would say. If you're going up one. I usually don't go up one, but uh, the triple wall technique is definitely a technique that is very useful for taking over someone's wall and basically just being unpredictable. Um, you should use those. Good luck, boys.